Now, the rest of the story. There's an all-night food store on Cheney Highway in Titusville, Florida. About one o'clock, the morning of last June, this year, the place was robbed. A couple of men wearing ski masks cleaned out the cash drawer. The woman behind the counter was then kidnapped at knife point. She was taken across the road to an open field and was told to lie down, but her abductors were drunk or high on something, so she bet her life on her ability to outrun them, and she ran back to the store and locked herself in and called the police. By the time officers arrived, the thieves had fled, not a clue as to where. One of the patrolmen turned to another. This looked like a job for Detective Nathan, and Nathan was called to the scene. Two baseball caps were discovered hanging in a nearby tree, and since the bandits had been wearing ski masks, it was an elementary deduction that they had first removed their caps. Detective Nathan stared at one of the caps and then stalked away. The policemen who followed were expecting to head out someplace, but instead Nathan walked over to a man, apparently just a casual onlooker, who was leaning against the fence, and Nathan accused that man. The man was wide-eyed. How in the world had he been caught? But then the detective turned, leaving patrolmen to make the arrest, and walked off down the road. Nathan didn't stop until he came to a house on Shelby Court, and this indicated the investigator was the home of the second suspect. Amazed police officers arrested the man who lived there. Both suspects were charged with aggravated assault and kidnapping and armed robbery. Just another case in the sensational career of Titusville's super sleuth, Detective Nathan. It's as though Nathan is absolutely psychic, one colleague of the Titusville Police Force was quoted as saying, and sometimes so it would seem. For example, there's one month in Nathan's police log, June 1, 1985. Florida Highway Patrol chased a man in a stolen car all the way to Titusville. And there the car thief abandoned the vehicle and continued his getaway on foot. The troopers lost him. They called the local police department, summoned Detective Nathan, who quickly gathered evidence and informed the troopers where the fugitive was hiding. It was as simple as that. Two weeks later, there was a home burglary, a camera, a VCR, and a number of firearms stolen. The only evidence was a soft drink can left by one of the robbers at the scene of the crime. But from that alone, from that soft drink can, Detective Nathan set out in a rainstorm and tracked down the burglars. Just two weeks after that, it was another beverage can. A spewing beer can discarded alongside a vandalized market that served as a sufficient clue for Nathan's investigation. And within an hour, the vandal was arrested at his home a mile and a half away. For the Sherlock Holmes of Central Florida, the spectacular sleuth with a 100% conviction rate, the so far infallible Detective Nathan, who can locate and identify a criminal based on the tiniest shred of evidence, is not a policeman at all. Detective Nathan is a police dog, a German Shepherd police dog. Now that you have been properly introduced to Detective Nathan, tomorrow at this time, you're going to hear the rest of the rest of the story.